Hello guys, good morning. We are going to do a chatty get ready with me video. Um, so I would like this to take about 30 minutes to get ready because I've got some research to do and some things to post. It's quite a busy day for me. I've already applied my sunscreen. This is my favorite primer, the water, the water cloud primer from Cover FX. Like this is so long lasting. Oh my goodness. My makeup, my foundation stays on all freaking day. But Laura Mercier just came out with their pure canvas primer. This is the blurring one. It has five. One is um, hydrating, blurring, protecting with SPF. So they sent me two of them, which I'm very grateful for. So we are going to try the Laura Mercier because I am always on the market for like the best primer. So, so I'm always trying it out. But this is going to be almost like a first impression video. So this is a blurring. I guess especially if you have like uh, pore issues, this will be a great primer. And then whilst I do that, I also apply my eyeshadow primer, which is a Smashbox 24 hours um, photo finish. This is my favorite eye primer. This is the eyeshadow primer that changed my life i used to never be able to wear eyeshadow prime um eyeshadows before because everything would just like turn into the biggest mess until i discovered this little baby actually to go in i was gonna go on a date and then i went to sephora to like refresh my makeup and then as i was talking to one of the guy there and he was telling i was telling him how I love seeing eyeshadows on girls, but I can never wear it because um, they always run on me. And he was telling me this one will change your life, and it actually changed my life. Since then, I've been able to wear eyeshadows. And then during quarantine, when quarantine started, I started wearing eyeshadows because you know you have to play up your eyes because you're wearing a mask. So one side is gonna look darker, obviously, because of the light. You see this. Um, you see the difference here because of the light it kind of like takes out my eyebrows i apply my primer and then i do my um then i do my eyebrows for my eyebrows i use anastasia beverly hills brow is i like the skinny one i do not like the thick one the thick one is really hard to work with and this is a dark brown hopefully you can see what i'm doing here so this is the bra that i'm missing most of the hairs especially over here i don't know what happened like this one is good but for some reason this one over here it's missing hairs so i don't understand it but i don't try to i just do what i can with it and also i'm getting them micro bladed or ombre in two weeks i cannot contain like my excitement i am so thrilled to finally wake up like this i mean i'm still gonna have to do them but it's not going to be like this where it's such a process this is probably the thing that takes me the longest to do and i absolutely hate doing my eyebrows i do i just wish all i had to do was just just do very very minimal to them and then they will be good and then I go with this little MAC brush, which I've had for years and years. This is, uh, I think, 283 or 288 or something like that. I don't know. And then I go in with my NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This is the best concealer out there. The coverage is insane. Oh, my God. Insane. I'm telling you, this isn't shit caramel. The highlight that thing gives me under my eyes is just beyond. So I go in and just like clean this off. Again, I'm not too rigid about it because it's brows. I let it be natural. But for some reason, I have to clean my brows. If I don't clean my brows, it just feels so weird to me. Next step is to do our eyeshadows. Oh. <laughs> goodness because this eyeshadow is broken i've dropped it so many times this is that um dior eye palette this is my favorite one it was limited which i need to see if i can find it 
so I just go with this brush from Sigma. Sigma makes some of my favorite brushes. It's E55. Because some people usually ask me. I don't really have a preference. I just use whatever is clean or available when it comes to my eyeshadow. But, um, but I guess sometimes it depends on which palette that I am using. If I'm using this palette, I don't really care. Um how the eyeshadow is applied so i usually go in this one which is this bronzy color and then i go and mix it with that and then i apply every day is completely different so i mix and match the colors all the time or sometimes i'll just put one first and then i put the other one on top and then i'll go and put the other one back on top so it really depends on how i'm feeling for the day because this eyeshadow palette is so flattering I don't really ever have to worry about what it looks like or anything like that so that's pretty much all I do with that and then I just take a regular brush which is a Sigma E37 and then I go into my Chanel powder which is a powder that I set all over my face with so I like to use like something skin tone to kind of like blend everything together use eyeshadow for this like a matte eyeshadow if you want to that is like your skin tone but I thought why buy an eyeshadow that's the same as my skin tone when I, my powder it's that so that's typically what I do with most application whenever I wear eyeshadow um, I usually just blend my my crease area with um, with my powder which is the same as my skin tone so it just kind of like translate like nicely so that's basically all i do for my eyes next step is our foundation the things that completely changed my foundation before i was mixing my nars with my armani and when i discovered this custom enhancer drops from cover effects my life changed like my makeup has never looked the same and it's all because of this drop and my shade is candlelight this just blends with any foundation like so nicely it's literally the best so if you have kind of like my skin tone or you don't even have to so if you're wearing foundation if you have dark skin tone in general and um your foundation just mix it with that so if you've always had to mix your foundation in the past i would say just get the custom enhancer drops so it kind of like serve as that mixer and i am using soft matte i actually just ordered um a replacement because i'm running low this is oh my goodness i did not think i was going to love this foundation as much as i do i've just been wearing it every day it's so funny i used to love my chanel i barely use my chanel anymore i don't even wear my chanel foundation anymore this is it for me this is a soft matte in caracas deep 3.3 and then I go with the custom enhancer drops from Cover FX. I apply quite a bit of that to give me a really, really good mixture. They send this to me, but as soon as this is finished, I am going to reorder this because I cannot apply my foundation without this thing. Cannot, will not. So my favorite brush to apply my foundation is the Artis oval seven this is probably the best brush and it depends on how i'm feeling and then my second favorite brush actually they're like on the same level to be quite honest is the sonia kashuk um this brush it's the flat top foundation brush oh my god this is one of the best brushes but i'm gonna use with the i'm gonna go with the sonia kashuk because i think i've applied my foundation with uh we can close out this eyeshadow palette so as you can see it just blends into the foundation so nicely say my foundation is lighter it's not lighter i mean my face is naturally lighter than my neck so i don't mind my face looking lighter and my neck is naturally shaded anyways um when i wear makeup so sometimes when i take pictures it's going to shade my i've only applied it just like right here under my chin only on this in the summertime though in the winter i would never apply it on my chin because if i'm wearing like a turtleneck but in the spring summertime because i'm wearing dresses 
because I'm not wearing a coat, I should say, because I typically would tend to wear dresses all year long. But because I'm not wearing a coat, so I don't really have to to worry about that. Is look at look how good this application was. Absolutely love it. And then now we're gonna go with the concealer to apply all under my eyes. I am gonna go with the Sonia Kashuk flat top concealer. I love this. So you become what you think about. So someone who works so hard, if they're not thinking of good things, or if they have like a bad relationship with money and stuff like that, they're never going to amount to anything. It doesn't matter if they work so hard for 50 years. They're not really going to go anywhere because their thinking is dictating where their life goes. As opposed to someone else who's probably working a little less, but then again, they have more of a positive mindset. Like they know what they want out of life. And then also they don't really have like um, a bad relationship with money. And the thing is, you can change literally everything in your life. You just have to want to change. So let's say you spend 20 years working hard for money, but then again... You work so hard, you get to leave your house, you leave your family every day to go to work. But then again, you think money is evil. So if it was evil, why would you wake up every day of your life to go to work just to make something that is evil? So if you think something is evil, it's not going to come to you, especially money. You're just going to repel it. And... Uh, and also, if you always expect problems, like I have this friend, she always says she's broke. And I'm like, every time you say you're broke, the universe is going to give you things. It's so funny. I, t I keep telling her. She says she was broke once. And I'm like, stop saying you're broke. Just say that, you know, the money is coming to you. And I'm like, every time you say you're broke, a problem is going to arise where you're going to have to spend the money that you have. Long and behold something breaks down with her car and now she has to fix it because you know what you say you book so every time you say you book the universe is gonna give you a reason to spend money whatever the money that you had extra or money you don't even have that you're gonna have to go and borrow or put in debt because you keep saying you book because whatever you place after i am i am is one of the most powerful word in the entire world so whatever you put after i am is just going to dictate you know what happens to you um your net worth is your net worth so i used to be one of those people who was just like oh i would never be kissing the boss's ass but then again you see everyone who kissed the boss's ass you know get promoted and everything oh i don't want to be fake it's just like everything about you naturally is fake anyways so as much as we try to be like oh i don't want to be fake and everything you're still fake <laughs> because your name is given to you who's to say that's your real name you know everything is just like given to you by somebody else so you know sometimes if you had to pick your own name you probably would not have picked the name your parents give you so everything about you is made up so there are things that you have to do to you know get to where you want out of life so again when i read that book think and grow rich that book changed my life it's one of the books that i want to read every year because every year you discover some new parts of it that you didn't see before or um you know something makes more sense this time around because every year you keep evolving so it's by napoleon hill i will link it below and the powder that i do is Laura mercier translucent honey the honey is my favorite oh my goodness i am obsessed with that powder it's like the best powder out there and then i also go for sonia kashuk's powder blush as you can see i am obsessed with sonia kashu brushes i think she makes one of the best brushes in terms of um makeup application like concealer powder and stuff like that so that's how i apply my powder and then i just go and kind of like brush it off and then once i blend the powder i just now go with my chanel powder my shade is le beige it's a le beige powder in number n40 just go with the bus that same brush that i wiped out the excess powder under my eyes and stuff like that i use that same brush to kind of like blend all over the face so even in the bible it says sin guards in the doors of your mind it's like you really have to be careful um also if you're someone who consumes a lot of gossips whatever you consume you're going to attract into your life and um i'm no scent here i used to be one of those people i used to be in the daily mail all the time 
um like judging and everything like that it's just like i used to attract all these things and these things makes you more insecure the minute i just kind of like stop going to this website just like completely remove kind of like gossip out of my life like everything changed i just became so confident in myself it's just like you know whatever body issues that i had i didn't have them anymore because you know what i'm not out there criticizing other people i'm not seeing other people it's like that's what the media does to you the media plays with your mind so you have to stand guard at the doors of your mind because your eyes is the way you manifest things into your life so whatever you're reading or watching or looking at you are attracting those things into your life so you have to be very careful what you're reading and what you're watching if you're not careful you're going to attract these things into your life that's why some people have such miserable day um all the time is because they watch so much of the news you know put your attention you know whatever your energies you whenever your attention goes that's where your energy goes so you have to be careful what you're giving your attention to so that's why when you buy a car all of a sudden you start seeing it all over the place is because that's where you're putting your um your attention so why not put your attention so towards things that you want to manifest into your life that's why you know i kind of like watch people or you know that are like the life that i aspire to live if i keep putting that in my head if i keep seeing it then i'm going to manifest it that's where my energy is gonna go i used to think having a positive mindset was woo woo bullsh you know bull crap or whatever um i really thought it was just like you know when people say oh be positive i used to just roll my eyes and i'm like there's only you know so much positive that you can be in life um you know but because our brain your brain is not there to make you happy your brain is there you may still have a primitive brain it still thinks that there's a lion out there going to eat you alive so it's always making sure that it's trying to protect you so that's why you always go towards negative thoughts so that's why you have to be very careful and work really hard at you know making sure that you're thinking good things which is why meditation saved my life because once i started meditating i started like controlling my thoughts and the next step is to contour i use fenty beauty coconutty this is my favorite my favorite highlighter because it's just so perfect and then i use the sigma blush what i love about this blush it's not like so harsh it kind of like soften the highlight this is the soft angle contour f23 so i just go in there and then i just go like this i do the fish face contour is really really soft and then whilst we're here i also contour my nose and i use the artiste blush this is the over three i know it's quite thick i there's another one that i use as well but sometimes i love like a heavy nose contour and then i go with my blush it's copper tone by mac i've been using this blush for the last 10 years absolutely love it and the blush that i use for that is will techniques there's no name on it it's all rubbed off is it nope contour blush as you can see this just add that's why i love wearing blushes it's just like oh the warmth it adds to my face it's just oh amazing instantly instantly like my cheeks are flush now i look so happy the next step is to highlight and then a lip did i bring my highlighter oh yeah right here so i also use uh, mercier in indiscretion is a face illuminator and oh my god it's just the most beautiful thing i always go towards things that are rose gold because i think it's just um is the most flattering on my skin tone yellow gold just like sit on me and looks like a streak so i don't really like yellow gold um on me it just it's not a good look for me at all but rose gold oh my goodness again the shade is indiscretion it's so soft because i have a heavy hand especially for highlighters it used i used to go crazy with highlighters and then since finding this i've been using this for the last year it's just so soft look at this so soft it doesn't matter how how much i how hard i go in the palette it just add like the softest glow look at this softest glow to my skin and then now we are going to do that for our cupid's bow a new thing that i discovered which is why my eyebrows have just been looking like they're like laminated a little bit is the benefit 24 hour brow setter this one is a little wet at first i was just like ew i just hate feeling wet things against my skin 
but for some reason this one is amazing so it comes with a brush like this this is what it looks like it doesn't have a shade so it's just a brow setter so i'm gonna get really really close and then so you can see so you go like this i well i go like this i just go every you know i just take the whole brow and then i just turn the brush on the other side just to do the other one to make sure it's like saturated so this has been my little secret that i discover last month from doing my brows this just completely changed my brows because everyone's been saying that my brows has been looking really good so that's exactly what i've been doing as you can see for some reason it just transformed them they just look so natural and my makeup is already done all right let me go get my lipstick so for my lip liner i don't even remember so this one is all rubbed up this is natural i think the brand is paliedo or something like that p-a-l-l-a-d-i-o and then this shit is natural something so i've been using this for years i always get this from ulta i buy like a bunch of them and then the lipstick that i'm going to be wearing is ashton by abh of course so let me go get the lipstick and apply it and then um the, um ashton liquid lipstick by abh again i absolutely love this lipstick because when i apply it and then it dries it kind of like creates this line on my lips and they look so cool so most most people would be hated it's just like a dry line because i have this line on my lips as you can see but for some reason this enhances that and i just think it make my lips look so sexy i've already lined my lips as you saw me do earlier i usually do it in the middle of my makeup or sometimes i do it at the end and my lips look quite small and when i don't have lipstick on that's why i love wearing lipstick because it just make my lips look so much full this is my makeup every day and again i am trying out the laura mercier primer for the first time and so far i think i like it like i really really love the way it feels on my skin so i guess i will check back in later to see to show you how it is but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this kind of like chatty get ready with me video um i hope you enjoy seeing how i do my makeup actually let me there you go so you can see it properly so this is my makeup i absolutely love it like wow i'm so cute all right guys i'm just reading for the time i've already written my caption so i'm about to like get ready and film the zara haul for you but i'm just like my bra video is just like blowing up and i am so so grateful to all of you who's been watching and that's you know finding it like very very helpful that just makes me so happy that's all that i've ever wanted to do on here is to be helpful to you because if i'm not providing value like then what am i doing on here i mean you could just have fun but i want to provide you know like value but I, look guys just got done filming that zara haul for you and yeah i'm kind of like disappointed with everything i wanted to keep this but i just feel like this is not like special enough for me to keep so yeah i don't know this is going back i mean everything is going back the only thing i want to keep is the white dress of course um with that kind of like the bordery or the eyelets so this is the only dress that i want although it looks so big when i put it on i actually quite like it a little big on me as usual i like big things on me but i do want to go to the store to see if i can actually find um the extra small i do want to try on the extra small before i decide which one that i want to keep but i know for sure that i prefer this one because i can belt it and also it could just give me like you know um after i eat so i don't have to worry so i'm gonna make pasta today because i just saw a picture that's how i get, I get influenced a lot when it comes to food once i see something i'm like oh i want to eat that and the next thing you know i go and make it or i go and buy it but this is a blue dress um it looks beautiful but i don't know though i don't know how i feel about it i think the color is just like it's what set it off for me a little bit i do love the length sleeve um but i do love the color i love love the color i don't mind the print um i, I do not mind the print at all but i'm just trying to think to see if this is really something that i'm going to be wearing like that and i don't think it is i think that's what it is it's just like when i buy things i look for if i'm going to be wearing them often 
and this one is not a dress that I that I will say that I will wear often but I do think this dress will be um, photographed like beautifully in Greece like um, in Santorini like the things like sometimes certain colors of dresses kind of like I picture in my head where I would wear this kind of like things like that like and you know in front of the whitewash like little cave houses and stuff like that I think this would just be really really beautiful but I think I can find something blue something else blue um, like that so I am deciding between these two dresses this one and this everything else gotta go uh, the pink is nice but I just don't think it's worth the money for what it is the red one I hated it I thought it was the one that I was actually going to like is the one that I hate the most and then the other one I'd already shared my my if you want it that kind of style is just not for me I'm actually going to make some lunch now I'm actually going to change uh, because you know if I'm gonna return something I can't be you know making food in them so let me go ahead and change and chew a dress that I don't mind putting stuff in not really because I always wear my apron when I'm cooking so this is what I am wearing then I'm still going to put my apron I love wearing my apron because I don't know I'm ready to be a housewife I guess I'm already a housewife let me show you this is the pasta I use it's by Sejano let me pick one that has the label on it it's the best spaghetti you will eat So if you're at Whole Foods, be sure to get some of this. It's pricey. It's like $8. But it's worth it. It's so freaking good. I'm going to be using my favorite um, tomato sauce by Monty's. Like, I'm going to leave a link below for you guys to check out. Maybe I can reach out to them to see if they will give me like a discount code. If they will make like a discount code for me. So you can take like, I don't know, 10 or 15% off or something like that. And then I got this little salt thing from Crate and Barrel in marble. I just got the whole marble thing. So I got the whole marble counter, not countertop, but like cutting board, the whole marble kitchen utensil holder, the whole marble thing. I also got the pestle marble thing as well to make, which I've never used actually. This. This is called the pestle something. You can make um, guacamole in this or you can actually break down your spices um like in haiti that's what we do like every time we cook we take the leeks and we kind of like crush it in here and then we use that to cook the food so hopefully when i move to the country i'll be using this i'm gonna go finish making the food and then whilst the spaghetti is cooking i am going to just like clean up around me and then I'm just gonna set up my camera so I can go run outside quickly to just shoot something. And then I shall we So I just realized something. I actually have to plan my meals ahead of time because this eating late and messing up with my, you know, like eating time is just not good for me. <clears throat> because typically I figure out what I'm eating for the day, like, you know when it's time for lunch when alexa reminds me oh it's lunch time and i'm like actually what am i eating sometimes when i cook it's just too good and the next thing you know i want just to eat everything and monty's sauce as i said i can't talk about them enough like you must try them oh my goodness they're like so freaking delicious it's so good um and i added some pickles which is some haitian hot sauce on this and pickles just pickles is really really the best accessories to almost any food. The Canon G7X has the worst battery life that I've ever seen in any camera out there. It's just so bad and I I just don't understand it. Um, thank goodness the one that I bought, I made sure to get a pack that came with like a spare battery. So that way I didn't have to always constantly be fighting over um like a dead battery like this is the third time i've switched batteries from today from starting to work at like 10 o'clock until it's not even three yet i've changed the battery three times so and i'm very diligent 
about charging it so every time it dies you know like i always charge the other one for backup so as soon as it dies then the other one is like ready but oh my god it's so terrible although i do love the camera but the battery is so bad so i'm gonna go outside to try to create some content it's not as nice it's really cold this is the gadget that i want to try like he he gifted me this which is very very lovely and so thoughtful and apparently it kind of like moves around it's so funny i've came close to buying one of these things like three times and i didn't and i guess i just knew i was gonna get one no i didn't i had no idea but sometimes i just have like um like inclination about things like i know it's just like no don't buy this like you're probably gonna find it or somehow some way but this is supposed to be turning as you go so i'm so excited to to try this okay so i can put this on top of the tripod i guess this is to charge it i, I wish you could flip it no you can but there you go that's why i thought i'm like you should be able to to flip it but i wish this was on ah i didn't realize i had to charge this this whole time because i could have charged this a long time ago now that i'm ready to go you know to go create some content with this but let me find a plug to charge this i think i do have one right here i'll go out though to shoot some content without it and then when i get back i'll um for my next look then i'll go with hey it guys it's content creation time so i didn't realize they had this kind of like beautiful i think those are like not really cherry blossoms are they they look like them they're really really cool and they're falling on the floor it's like the perfect setting but i should have had um something a little bit more pinkish instead of orange but the pictures turns out really really good very very happy about them i cannot wait i cannot wait to post them Ooh, very very happy so my mom's about to pick me up so we can go to jersey she doesn't know we're going to jersey yet <laughs> i mean i live in jersey but she doesn't know that i'm going all the way there in the mall hold on i'm taking some pictures i'll be back guys i am here in the bergen town central mall i used to come here all the time i remember my ex and i we used to go to bobby flay's burger palace oh my god back in the day when i used to eat meat um the california burger was my favorite because i had avocado obviously i'm basic <laughs> but i'm gonna go to Target to pick up my order got my order i'm going back to the car now so I can go to H&M to return that one dress <laughs> and then go to Whole Foods because what I really want at Whole Foods is sea bass and cheese. Those are two things that I want and then I'm going to step in the Garden State Mall to return the Zara order. I'm so happy that I did the return. I mean that I did the haul as soon as it came in. I'm only keeping one dress. I asked my mom about the blue one because I wanted to keep it. But she's like, eh, it doesn't look like you. So I think she's right. But I'm still thinking about it. So I have like 20 minutes to think about it before I decide if I am in fact going to return it. Guys, I'm running so many errands today. It's so crazy. Um, and it's I'm doing really good the one time because it's only been an hour. Which typically I feel takes so much longer. But today is not so bad. I am now in the Garden State Mall, which used to be my playground over here. But um, I'm gonna go to Zara. I hope there isn't a line. Yeah. Ooh, blurry. Can't have that. Okay, this is music. You know something? Ah, the music. But I absolutely hate asking men for direction because it doesn't matter if they don't know where it is, they're still gonna tell you something because the pride is just too much to just tell you that they don't know. So, I just knew where the store was. I don't know why I even listened to my mom. And I'm like, I know it's by Nostrum, not by Macy's, but she insisted. So I was like, okay, fine. 
but and then again i asked the guy he made me go in the other direction and i'm like i know the small like almost like the back of my hand because that's where i used to shop all the time even when i lived um back in new york i used to never shop in new york because the mall we have over there is the ghetto like the palisades mall i cannot stand that mall with a passion i always used to come here because this mall was so much nicer but over the years this has turned into i don't know the ghetto <laughs> um almost so that's why i don't like it it's just too crowded i just can't cannot do it i hope there isn't a lot next hour because i just cannot stand the line but guys i am back home now my makeup is probably all messed up because i was wearing the mask but i'm gonna quickly pat it and just bring it back for um for the life that i'm going to be doing with you guys but i ended up going to zara um anderson i express you know me not shopping there but i do realize why everybody shops there it's one of the reasons why i used to shop there is because they literally they do have something for everyone um you know it's just like even though for me personally i'm not going to be shopping there like that because i think that i i have like kind of like graduated because i have been shopping at zara for you know 10 years now since i started blogging actually i you know one of the first few people who knew about zara because i used to only follow like the european bloggers well i would say more like the uk bloggers um so when i was talking about zara most people did not even know about zara now that you know a, a lot of people do now everyone do <laughs> which is why it's become so popular but um yeah i you know was at the store I just don't enjoy that kind of half soap shopping anymore. It literally took 45 minutes to return something. I waited 15 minutes outside and I waited 30 minutes in line to make a return. Like that kind of like shopping experience, it's not for me anymore. I have so much work this weekend. A sweetie is coming over. So we're gonna shoot early in the morning, nine o'clock. And then I'm going to the museum, which I'm very excited. I am going to the Met. I cannot wait. It's been such a long time since I've been to the Met. So I have to figure out. Actually, I don't have to figure out what I'm going to wear. I, you know, I was going to say I come up with my outfit easily. <laughs> uh, actually, I do. But um, I did exchange. So the only dress that I kept from the Zara. Oh, I don't, I don't think I showed you guys what I got. So you're going to have to go watch my Zara haul if you want to see what I got from Zara. I ended up returning everything. The only thing that I kept is this dress, obviously, because, I mean, it's eyelet. Um, it's the Marta dress. And again, I'm not going to link it, but I will leave the information right here on the screen just in case you want to pause this video. And if you want to go search for it, dress is worth $70, but whatever. Um, but then again, the one that I'm wearing today, it's like <laughs> 200 so. But then again, the production is not the same. So I'm going to go try this on. I'll be back. So this is the extra small on me. Um, it fits so much better. I was going to keep the small, but I'm so happy. It's so funny. I was just going to return it or uh, perhaps just like keep it and then as I looked over to my right at the store and then I realized it was the dress just like hanging there and it was extra small that I was looking for. I'm not convinced this is an extra small because this is still a little bit big. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to keep this. I can wear this with a belt or something like that. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> I absolutely love this dress. Um, I don't have anything like this that is meaty length and um yeah i do like it i think this is a cute little dress to wear to like a little garden party or i don't know to just sit in the house to be quite honest i wanted to show you this little thing is so cool so look at it right so i'm gonna be moving i'm gonna take i'm gonna turn on the camera over here automatically it's already looking for my face everywhere i turn look at this it's looking for me 
Wow. This is cool. I mean, it's not as fast, but it's pretty good. Ah, I highly recommend it. Wow, this was one of the best gifts ever. Wow. This is going to be great for um, when I'm filming some wheels outside and then I want to kind of like turn around. <sighs> so I'm actually going to say goodbye and then I will catch you guys later. I'm not going to say goodnight actually. I'm just going to say goodbye, not goodnight. <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Saturday. Sweetie has been here on time too. Okay, <laughs> stop playing. On time. On time. Ready. Ready to go. Shocking, no I'm joking. <laughs> no it is, I'm not even playing. I'm not getting the look. Mm -hmm. Should day, we're about to get it together. Is my look number one. I've been dying to shoot the skirt and wear it too. About 1.41 now, we've been shooting Sweetie and I. We're in Central Park and it's a hot mess. Too many people here. Taking over the magnolia tree that I wanted to, as you can see. But it's a beautiful day and then we're having so much trouble with the sun, like being in my photo. Now all of a sudden it's like so cloudy, but before, it was so sunny. Like all you had to do, sun. It's be cloudy like that for me to take my photo. This is Easy E playing. <laughs> if you're in Central Park, come here to hear him. It's beautiful. Okay, guys, it's that time after shooting where we eat. And I always come here in Harlem to, uh, to have the best breakfast sandwich. It comes in a regular bread. I don't know what kind of bread it is. I've never tried it with the bread. I always ask for them to put it on a croissant. And it's the best. This is what the place is called. And the truffle fries are just like incredible. And I like to dip, um, I like to mix the ketchup and the mayo together. I think it just makes like the best dipping sauce for your fries. I know a lot of people hate mayo. I used to be one of those too. But I've embraced it like this. Oh, it's just the sauce. Sweetie, where's your burger? Mm. I wanna see it. Look at this oh goodness. God. Like wow. This is a salmon burger, guys. <sighs> so good. Alright, we are going to go eat. I'm about to mess this we'll up. We'll catch you later. <laughs> okay guys, I am back from shooting and just right on time. And I'm about to I'm gonna try to curl my hair, but I don't think I have enough time. So, because I'm being picked up literally right now, and I haven't eaten anything yet. So I'm gonna be eating these like coconut things that I get from the juice place. They're like super healthy, I think. Also bought some flowers because I need them for the shoot. And then now I gotta, get, I gotta get dressed before I'm picked up. I'm just looking outside to see if it's cars here. I'm going to the Met today, which I'm very excited for because I haven't been in the Met in ages. So, okay, I think I know what I'm going to wear. So, Sweetie and I, we just made an arrangement to just kind of like shoot with each other every Saturday or every two weeks. The good thing is, just like we don't really have to go to the city, we could just find places in Jersey to shoot because she lives in Jersey too, which is what I wanted because. I am tired of like the whole street style kind of like looks and stuff. I don't know. I just want more kind of like very chilled and cool outfits, which doesn't work out all the time to be quite honest because when you work with brands, they want certain they want certain looks sometimes based on my past photos. And that's usually in the city in front of those buildings so sometimes you know i've got to compromise there but all right guys so um maybe i could wear that white czar dress oh i know exactly what the dress to wear i'm gonna be wearing that 
um white dress from star that i absolutely love so okay that's going to be the look that's easy and then i'm going to either wear like a light coat my blazer coat or all right let's get dressed okay guys i am ready this is my outfit that's why you can never go on with a white dress honestly look at this look how cute is this i'm wearing my manolos um now i wish i had these manolos in a white these are like too big for me but they haven't you know gotten off my feet really so i like them oh this is such hey a cute guys we are back home sweetie's about to do some more shooting yes and then i'm gonna have some alcohol <laughs> but i quickly wanted to show you this remember i was telling you guys that i ordered the end boiling um necklace with my initial on it so this is coming from the um inspired treasures so they kind of like replicate all the kind of like warrior jewelry and stuff like that so i didn't know and was like so hip and so with the times and when i saw this necklace i had to have it and look how stunning that is i am going to leave the link below so you guys can check it out but i will put a picture of Anne Boylan on the screen so you can see her wearing the, her initial necklace with this like how cool and you guys know i love pearls and it has a three dangling pearls like ugh, so beautiful like the quality is insane i feel like i always put my arm on i don't know what i'm doing but i guess this is how it's supposed to go wow oh, this is going to be so cute maybe i should pop it on just so i can show you look at that look again quality is amazed all right i'm gonna go